and Tony. Yeah, me too. I want to see if he's in the bottom of this glass. Nope. Let's see if he's in the next one. Two more, Pete. Mm. Getting low on beer money. It's on me. Thanks. Jill's at her mother's house for dinner tonight. Man, I've been cooped up in the house too much lately. Oh, me too. My well, third shift was starting to get you out. Soon will be good. I'm not kidding about that beer money. Ever since I got married, I've always kept a little on the side for me, you know, for card games, fishing, beer. Count's getting low. Yeah, I had to sell my bowling ball. Betsy? Why? So I could have money to go bowling. Man, she was flawless. Perfect weight. No wiggle in a roll. She felt so good in my hand, with my fingers inside of her. Don't go there. Hey, Pete, have you seen Tony today? I said I'd find him. He and Colleen really got into it. And they have to ruin everything. The corporation, those big shots. They won't be happy till the working man is completely under their thumb. Till all his milk is curdled. C.J. Morton ruined my milk this morning. C.J. Morton? Him! I usually get up to go to work. And I take the trash out to the curb. But since, you know, I don't have to get up, Jill took the trash out today. I caught her lugging that heavy can, so I yelled at her. She got upset, milk got left out. It spoiled, that bastard. And then I'm out the floor for it, so we're all better. <laughs> Shiny linoleum kitchen. Oh, no, she loves it like diamonds. I gotta go find Tony. Hey, two words. Mop and glow. I'll tell him. Have any luck? Uh, yeah, bad. Nobody's seen him. I, I looked everywhere I could think of. Everywhere? Well, no, I, uh, I didn't check the morgue. Always the optimist. Jackson called. He was real upset. They lost the contract with Chrysler. There's not going to be a third uh, shift. Right. They told Jackson the other union reps today they're going to announce it tomorrow. But we're going to be okay. I'm working full time now. We're it's not going to cover everything. Uh, how are we going to get by? And what about Jim's tuition? No, we don't have to worry about that tonight. Besides, the boys' company is really taking uh, off. They're talking. Boys rescued by boys. Not rescued. The irony is that the nerdy kids I used to make fun of had nerdy kids of their own, and now they're all making fun of me. They are not making fun of you. Well, they should be. John Michael, you have provided me with everything that I have ever wanted. I have not. Okay, so I bought my own car. You practically raised Jen here. I had no, all that overtime. Months. You've worked since Jen started high school. <laughs> yes, that too. You work night and day to well, keep this house. Shut up! I am trying to make a point here. You are like. Clint Eastwood, in one of his movies, you're, you're, you're beat up, but you're not broken. And like you said, I carried you this far. Wow. Do I feel like a third wheel? What are you doing here? It's midnight. Waiting for you. You know, to celebrate Mrs. Michael's new job, and mine. Philip got a job. The hospital called tonight. St. Joe's, custodial. You know, mopping floors, bathrooms. Isn't that great? <laughs> Wait till my father hears I'm working side by side with administrators and surgeons. I'll show him. Congratulations. Thanks. Come on, let's find that cake. Oh, uh, Colleen.